it's Laura Wansick, and I've got a lot of different layouts here all in one video. I've spent a lot of time catching up on Project Life in the last couple of months, and it really just involved a lot of me having the album out on my desk and flipping through and seeing what pockets need to, needed to be filled, and then just coming up with something really quickly and getting it done. So definitely if you feel like you're behind or you need to get lots of scrapping done really quickly, my biggest recommendation is to just not think about it too much. So I really just as quickly as I could sort of grabbed things from my stash, made layouts and just didn't think about it. So here, for example, this is the opening of my July, August, September album. And so I'm starting with a little just July sort of preview page for the first page. And I just needed something, just a little filler card with some teal in it to match the pool, which um, is a big part of the photo in this spread. And so I just grabbed a stripe stamp and I'm just creating a little pattern here, a little pattern block, just played around with it. It's not perfect. These stripes are not evenly spaced. Um, but again, I think when you just want to get stuff done and you just want to have fun and play, you just can't be a perfectionist, right? It's just, you're just not going to have fun. It's going to sap all the joy. So so I really enjoyed this. I had fun playing around with this, playing around with the patterns. I did a lot of stamping um, for these pages. Stamps are great because they are reusable. So really, even though they have a higher price point at the beginning, if you have a lot of stamps in your stash, you can get a lot of pages done without having to spend much money or use um, many kind of consumables. Um, I did definitely use a lot of stuff from my stash in terms of chipboard and other things. Um, to fill, to make these um, spreads, to fill all these spreads and fill all these pockets. But a lot of the cards are just stamps. So this is just stamps. Um, July is a vacation month for me. So I'm an 11 month employee. So I always have a month off in the summer. And this month, it was the entire month of July. So I stamped vacation mode there um, in the middle of one of those stripes. And you can see how it just really pulls the teal from that pool really nicely to balance out the spread. And then I just stamped 0721 for July 21 and then just did a couple of other quick things. So here's another spread. So for this one, I grabbed some random chipboard from my stash and created some backgrounds to put the chipboard on. So I feel like, you know, I do this thing where I print out journaling on white cardstock, but I feel like just putting chipboard on plain white cardstock sometimes is like a little bit boring. So I grabbed these pattern blocks from an old Studio Calico stamp set and just stamped some backgrounds just to um, put behind these chipboard pieces. And I grabbed some colors from my stash that sort of complemented the photos and the chipboard. It's just sort of like a softer palette type spread. And the Misty's so great for background stamps because a lot of times that first impression just isn't good enough, but it's hard to sort of stamp it again perfectly, especially with these really fine lines or um, detailed images. So definitely I recommend the Misty. I was really resistant to getting the Misty for a long time because I thought there's no way that I need that. Like it's so expensive. That's, that seems really unnecessary. And now I just genuinely cannot believe that I ever <laughs> didn't have it. If you're really into stamping, I feel like it's definitely a must have. It's just so helpful for getting um, stamps, really a nice clean image for your stamps. It just really, really makes a difference. So here I just stamped a So Love Your Mighty Heart, journaling about my parents going to Africa and my dad's sort of desire for adventure and put a few little heart stamps there and called that spread good. Simple, but told a lot of great stories. I really like the color palette for that spread as well. So for this one, this is a great example of how stamping, you know, stamping is not perfect. And here's the thing, if you want it to be perfect, then you should just use digital stamps, right? So part of the art of stamping is allowing a little bit of imperfection. So what I'm doing is I have this sort of blobby stamp from Ali Edwards, I think it's from an Ali Edwards set. And I'm just doing some um, block stamping where I'm using washi tape and just doing sort of different colors mixed in. I told three different stories here on this four by six card about my husband and I'm stamping just various colors and the way they mix, you know, is kind of cool as you're playing around. I've done this technique a lot. It's just a really fun technique. But when I go to stamp the some pieces of my story stamp from that Allie Edwards set there on the right, 
I don't know if it was the way that I stamped it or the ink that I used, something went wrong, but it got like ink was like everywhere. I don't know if I didn't clean it right. I don't really know. But anyway, I was like, you know what? I kind of think it's cool. It's kind of artsy fartsy. I kind of liked it. So this was really imperfect, but I actually kind of like the way that it turned out. So I did a repeated design here with each of those little blobs um, and then some pieces of my story stamped in the middle. And then I think I did numbers below each one to denote, you know, one, two, three stories. Yeah, you can see on the right there, all of that ink got stamped from the middle of the letters. I don't know how that happened. But we'll just call it art. Yeah, I just kind of like the way it turned out. And I love the way that the colors really pull from the spread. It's kind of fun. All right, this is just a really quick three by four card. I used some background stamps from Studio Calico. I used some stamps from Studio Calico to create a background, I should say. I don't think they're background stamps by design. But the theme of this card is Life is Tough But So Are You, which is a great stamp set from Studio Calico and Life Love Paper, I think. But I love this little burst um, circle stamp. I I think it says keep your head up. So this is a spread about me going back to work in August after my month off in July. And so I just thought that that was thematically good and I used a really light pink so that it would be nice and soft in the background. And then I used a little yellow stamp as well because once I stamped the life is tough but so are you, it felt like it needed one more little thing. So I just did a few yellow little circles there and a nice little filler card. Okay, so this is a spread about my daughter uh, about my daughters and some stories about them and I did the ups and downs chipboard because their relationship is definitely up and down their moods go up and down their uh, relationship seems to go up and down but this was definitely a great spread for using up lots of stuff from my stash all those little pieces of chipboard all those little um, plastic pieces there from Allie Edwards and Studio Calico that I tucked behind the ups and downs. And again, I didn't want it to just be on plain white cardstock. It just seemed a little bit too boring. So I took this little plus sign and I just stamped a little background. And I felt like that made a big difference in the way that the card looked. And I really, really liked that. You can see these little cards that I've made. These are from American Crafts. So I found out recently that you can buy digital products from them. So I bought a bunch of digital products from acdigitals.com. This is, I think, the Fa La La, or La La Love, sorry. La La Love is the name of the kit that I used mostly for this spread. So what's great is that all the patterned paper that they release, um, you can buy it and then crop it down to 3 by 4 or 4 by 6 to work in pocket pages. So that was a great use of money, I think. I've already used lots of different collections to fill up these spreads, and I anticipate doing that more in the future. I love so many patterned papers from them, um, but I love the opportunity to make them smaller. And then you can also buy the Elements uh, packs in there on the Life is Better with You, that one. Um, I put a few of those together and just designed some pocket page cards as well, so... I've been hoarding that little rainbow chipboard piece and I made myself use it and I really like the way that it turned out. So, And then I just wrote here around the edge of that cool thing that my camera did with a light. I have no idea how it did that, but I thought that it was really cool. So here's a zoomed out look at the spread. Got lots and lots of stories told. Finished about three and a half months of um, pocket page scrapping pretty quickly by just going through and filling the pages, not thinking too much, and just having fun.